Certainly the mental health impacts of COVID are still very much with us. CBS 4's Dylan Thomas on that story tonight. Larimer County and Dylan, doctors say many kids too often deal silently with the stress they're feeling. Jim, we have seen an increase in depression, anxiety, and stress in general among many people, but especially the youth right now. For many years, parents have been focusing on their teenagers' mental health, but now they may have to consider doing that much younger. We're seeing unprecedented rates of anxiety with children, particularly in the younger children, 12 and under. Um, the requests for appointments shot way up. Uh, from the beginning of the pandemic and has continued all the way through now. Which is why UC Health launched a series of videos called Navigating the Seas of COVID Stress, a three-part series helping parents and their young children understand why kids are feeling anxious, stressed, or depressed. As adults, it's not difficult for us to remember what it was like before all of that happened. But for children, particularly young children, they, they only have a hazy memory at best of what life was like before the pandemic. They've just been bathed in this atmosphere of stress and anxiety. There's just so many stressors um, for kids in today's world. Clinical psychologist Dr. Kathy Sidga helped create the videos. This is the first time that I have seen such a huge need and a huge focus in younger children needing mental health supports. They not only help identify issues, most often happens at night when kids are trying to go to bed and they suddenly become scared about things, worried, nervous, fearful, crying, don't want to be alone, don't want to go to bed at night. But also encourage parents to help their children realize they are not alone. Validating our children's emotions is really important. It's very encouraging to see that people are becoming more comfortable with using mental health services. It's going to take some time to return to a sense of normalcy. About two years, we're told. Dr. Sidga says make sure to talk with your kids. Let them know it's okay to experience those emotions and then consider maybe talking to teachers or a pediatrician as they have better detectors when it comes to noticing those signs. You can also visit our website, which is cbsdenver.com, for access to those free videos from UC Health, which also point out more ways to identify subtle signs of mental stress. Reporting live in Larimer County, Dylan Thomas covering Colorado First.